And um, what made you pick real estate? What, what is it about real estate that made you say, okay, this is what I want to do you know, with my life? So originally, I thought that I was going to be this big real estate investor. And the only way to go do that is to go get your real estate license. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. And um, that was uh, absolutely wrong. <laughs> so the only reason to get your real estate license is because you want to represent other people that have money so they can invest in real estate and then you can be their agent. And then after you get your license, you find out that there's lots of legal restrictions. Mm. Just having a license that you can't do as a buyer or seller, but you could do if you didn't have a license. Mm -hmm. Mm. So you want to be a big investor, go find yourself a good real estate agent. Don't get your license. Don't get your license yourself. Yeah, don't do it yourself. Um, But if you want to make a a good living and a career and do something that's fun, Mm -hmm. Yeah, go get your real estate license. It's it's a lot of fun. And as I told you earlier, it's not it ain't easy. Yeah. But it isn't complicated. Mm-hmm. So, as long as you work hard and you put the hours in, uh you'll be that 20% that makes 80% of the money for the office. Mm. Or actually industry-wide, it's the 20% that makes the 80% of the money. Oh, That's wow. pre- pretty much in every field probably. Yeah. You got the 80% are lazy and the other <laughs> 20% and they grind. Yes sir. Yeah. So, when uh when you began studying real estate, did you already have in mind that you wanted to you wanted to do uh, commercial real estate specifically, or did it kind of just like fall into play? Fell into it. So originally, when I got licensed, I didn't even know anything about commercial. I really didn't even know it existed. Mm. Okay. And the majority of the state of California has some obscene amount of licensed agents. I think it's. Four, I said 450,000 oh, wow. mm. licensed agents in the state. Of, I'm going to Google this when you give us a break because I could be wrong. But anyway, I would say that a very, very tiny, tiny percentage of those people do what I do. Mm. Very, very small percentage. In the whole city of Long Beach, you've got thousands of licensed real estate agents. But I think there's only about 60 of us. Mm, that does Maybe. Well. And it's the same guys I've been working with for decades. Mm-hmm. And, and it's a, it's a really... Uh, it's a real niche. Mm-hmm. And uh, speaking of niche, do you recommend somebody to find a niche or stick to it or to just try to do and dabble in, in a little bit of everything? Oh, no. You, you got you, you, you to gotta pick a horse mm-hmm. and, and go with that because you, um, you start dabbling in 10 different things. You're only going to end up doing 10 things terribly. <laughs> so you got to focus on one thing only and, and be the best at that one thing. Yes, yeah, that's my thought. So... I got. I started in residential, and then I got out of residential because I, I just wasn't. I'll get into it later, but I just wasn't doing as well as I wanted to. Okay. Mm-hmm. And then I took a year off, and then got back in by accident into commercial real estate. Some some guy was starting a real estate office in Long Beach and asked if I would join. I still had a license. I said, "Yeah, let's go do this." And I have been doing leasing and sales of office buildings, retail buildings, warehouses since. Mm-hmm. And it's way different than residential. Way, way different. Now, for those people who might not know exactly how is commercial real estate different and how, pretty much what is, you know, commercial real estate? So commercial real estate is a property that is occupied by a business. Okay. Mm. Period. Mm -hmm. It is, you don't live in it. And that disqualifies it if you live in it. It's either going to be single family residence, duplex, triplex, fourplex. Mm -hmm. And then after that, they just call it multifamily. And again, people are living in those, and that's a whole different niche from what I do. Mm-hmm. And I do primarily leasing. I do a lot of, I do sales, but I'd say about 75% of my business is leasing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Most people lease. Yeah. Jack in the Box, Sherwin Williams, all these retailers, all the big hit wigs that you see, they all lease. Okay. And someone's got to be their landlord, and mm-hmm. someone has to negotiate the leases and know how to read the leases. I'm not an attorney. I'm not supposed to act like one, but the nature of the business is that the landlords generally don't like spending money on attorneys, <laughs> and so they expect me to to handle uh, writing the leases, uh, putting in the addendums, the amendments, and doing all that stuff. 